uh, Monday is our grade show, and JD's going to go into grading for the positional uh, stuff. Uh, so tune into that. But JD, first game for Kingsley King Suma, and you said this is going to be one of the keys to victory was yeah. seeing how he looked. I thought it was funny because Collinsworth uh, posted the, the, the Collinsworth was talking about King Suma during the game, like, oh, no, he's doing a great job tonight. You know, uh, if you look at these clips and all the clips. I mean, <laughs> the guys were pressuring Patrick, but they were they were getting hands on Patrick and and and, and, and getting getting to him. Uh, but what did you make of uh, King Suma's uh, his first game in the NFL? Uh, it was decent. I'm glad he got exposed to it. He's gonna get another exposure against Bengals. The more you do and challenge him early, the better off he's gonna be later. I, I can't stress that enough. And I go back to how we did our young corners the same way. And so you let them go, go ahead and get the work. Let them take their lumps right now. Let them learn what they need to do. You know, you coach them up, talk about getting his hands and his feet and all the, you know, what he needs to do is anchor uh, to help him out. And so when you have a team like Baltimore, Cincinnati, then you got Atlanta, then you got the Chargers, the Saints. These are some defensive ends he's going to go up against, man. So it's it's good to go ahead and get that experience right now. He hasn't seen anybody up except our guys. FAU, then a couple guys on, you know, the first quarter. So this is his first challenge. He gives one up. And like you said, they were back there swiping at, at Pat each and every time. So yeah, he'll he'll get better. It wasn't bad. He'll get better. So it's promising that he didn't give out more than that. He just know now how close that really is. And so you just got to keep working on it, man. Keep working on it. But decent job. Yeah, Looking forward to hearing what what, uh, what grade you give him on uh, on Monday. <laughs> uh, but I, I think he had to allow two pressures and one sack was with the numbers for him. And I, I'm and curious. One penalty, and one penalty, right? And one penalty. Yeah. And, and I'm curious as far as what constitute a pressure, J.D., because for me, when I'm walking, while I'm watching those clips, I'm seeing them get hands on Patrick. I know he's already released the ball by that point, but. I mean, I feel like that—that that is, you know, that—that that, that's a—that's a pressure. I mean, you know, like some of those were hits. I think QB hits. QB hit. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he racked. Up. I didn't see what his QB hits were, but I'm sure he racked up those for sure. Yeah. So I mean, they could likely be look like under duress, possibly letting the ball go. He has to move his feet for a pressure. Um, is you know readjusted. So, but yeah, that that look, and they got good. They got good pass rushers. Baltimore, man, got a good defense. And, and the guy who was going up, he was going up against Owe was the guy that we wanted a couple years yeah. back. Yeah. Uh, and Mike Brand points out this. This is also something they highlighted on the telecast. Andy left him out there by himself a lot. Were you surprised that they didn't give him a lot of help out there? Somewhat. But, you know, at, at that point, I guess it's, it's based off what, what are you, what are you running? And so sometimes you got to, you got to set the defense where it has to be set, right? So I kept hearing uh, Patrick's call, and he was calling, you know, the the, the, the strength. And so sometimes you just got to go, you know, the protection, right? So from what you see. But it was good. Like I said, it's good to challenge him early. It's good to do that. If they didn't believe in him, they wouldn't have put him out there, right? That's the way I look at it. And so I think they're pleased. They're going to be pleased with this. Like, man, you did a good job. Okay. There's some things we need to coach you up on to get better. But first game, not bad. Not bad. You're going to get better. Good yep. building block. Yeah. And they were probably using the beginning of the game to see if they should give him help. Like, let's see how he does. If he struggles, we'll get some chips in there. So, and he, you know, he proved that he didn't. He was like, all right, I think he's okay. I mean, yeah, he's, he's got to work through some things, but. He's our left tackle, man. He's going to, you know, there is a sink or swim part of this to the job. So um, he looks the part. Um, there are going to be some bad days. You know, but yeah, he's a rookie. Yeah. And he wasn't like a, he wasn't a, out of the gates left tackle of the future rookie either. Like he, he was a rookie that needed a little work, right? So uh, he, he, he needed some polishing. So right. he took Come out of the gates, not getting any help on an island against the defense that led the league in sacks last year is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. He, he wasn't coming out just penciled in as a starting left tackle. 
it was a wait and see. Wanye gets hurt, doesn't really show it. They put him in. He does a good job. Okay, the, the job is yours. So, uh, you know, you go out there and represent, and you did a good job of it. Come on, baby, go, 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 yeah. That's a first down, that's a first down, that's a first down. This football season, I'll be putting down normal sodas like Coca-Cola for Olipop. Olipop offers a healthier alternative with its low sugar content and natural ingredients. Olipop is more than just a drink. It's a wellness companion that supports your digestive health. Packed with prebiotics, this fizzy elixir helps promote good bacteria in your gut, leading to improved digestion and overall well-being. So go ahead, click the link in the description and use promo code SODALOVE and get your can of Olipop so you can enjoy the game guilt-free. Go Chiefs. Use the promo code SODALOVE for 15% off now. The times that he was trying to get some from, from Tooney, uh, I don't know if y'all was watching the battle on the side, man, but what's his name? Namdi? The Duke, the, the, the guy that nose tackle from the Ravens? Mm -hmm. Sucker right there, boy, is a handful. He was giving, yes. reading them everything that they wanted. I'm telling you. And I was just watching the battle. I was like, wow. They was battling, man. You go back over his film, go check it. Just get, just, Take a little gander at that. Watch that little battle inside there, okay? He's yeah. a handful. Yeah. Your ear just money for sure. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, Bolton's not playing a guy that wants the do re me, okay? So you better get the conditioning real quick if he wants to prove that he wants to get paid as a middle yeah. linebacker, let me tell you. Those are hills, gassers, he's going he to do all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Got a little time. It ain't gonna slow down for him. Cincinnati Bengals, man. He's gonna put in that extra work at the practice. Oof. That's those guys is at the practice. You know, when you see a guy out there with a shirt off running, just <laughs> he's, he's trying to get there. He's trying to get yeah. there. Yeah. I was a coach, I'd be like, don't get too excited about the uh, extra few days we got. We're gonna <laughs> run your ass and practice good. <laughs> uh, so before we get out of here, we got a question from our guy, Mike Brennan. Um, what is the point of KC keeping a seventh wide receiver when Hollywood comes back? KC should go down to six wide receivers. Um, it was interesting. I didn't really see Hardman or Sky Moore out there. I think I saw Sky Moore get like one snap on offense. It was on the play actually where Pacheco uh, rolled over that guy and got the first down. That was the only time I saw Sky Moore out there offensively. I'm sure, he played special teams. I didn't. I didn't really look. It looked at number twenty-four, but didn't really see Hardman or him uh, really make an impact offensively as far as getting a lot of reps out there or snaps out there. Um, were you surprised by not really seeing much of 17 or 24 on the offense? No, not really. Like I said, man, we look at the, the, the time of possession. Uh, you know, as far as I, I don't even have, know how many offensive snaps did we have. You know, especially when other guys are eating too, I think they were comfortable who they had in there. And so, you know, Ray comes in, he catches a few balls. Patrick catches some, gives the ball to Pacheco. They're like, oh, okay, well, shoot. This is how <laughs> the temperature of this game is going to go. It's the tempo. So sometimes you just got to go with it. That, that seventh receiver probably going forward, uh, probably won't dress for the game. Uh, but I will say this, uh, McCole Hartman needs to be our returner. He's the one I trust. I, I don't trust anybody being out there. I, I don't want Xavier Worthy to be doing any of those things. No. Put him in Nicole Hartman's hand, okay? Uh, that's the guy. So, Not a Carson Steele uh, kick return? No? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you had two guys back there. He catches yeah, it. Yeah. Take off. Yeah. Take off. So. <laughs> yeah, and uh, play, play disparity, uh, 74 to 50. So Baltimore had 74 okay. plays to our 50. Jeez, I must have more plays. Yeah, man. So that's, yeah. that's so that that goes into you know you and usually average around sixty something, close to seventy plays a, a game. So fifty is fairly low. It's fairly low. So yeah, uh, if you if you got somebody going to hit their head on the goalpost on, you know, reverse, you throw one deep, you know, guy on the sideline, cut down on some of the plays, man. Hey, you can't Steel. do nothing. I was gonna say because. Carson Steele also got a, a crash course in how fast the NFL is. He stiffed arm, stiffed arm a guy, and the guy got up a millisecond later and tackled him. 
That's how fast the NFL is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, go down. He's like, oh, yeah. go back up. Like, right. yeah. Bye. And then <laughs> snap, like just came up like Undertaker, just grab and then grab it <laughs> back down. It was like, get over here. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> man. Ooh. Yeah. He, he, I think he realized he's not on the Mac anymore. He's in the, <laughs> he's the NFL now. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.